I don't know if you heard about this, but recently it was discovered that the age of the universe is not 13.7 billion years old, but it's actually 26.7 billion years old. Don't believe me? You can just simply Google it and check for yourself. You know it's serious when Google updates a huge information like that. It was a general knowledge that the universe is 13.7 billion years old. And all the time lapses and theories we created for the universe were based on this number. In the past, many scientists and organizations claimed that there are stars older than 14 billion years old. Which, because they didn't make sense with the number we have, they were later ignored. We rejected 14 billion years old and now we have to deal with 26.7 billion years old. So the old number is 13.8 billion years old and the new number is 26.7 billion years old. How did we discover even the old number? And why the new number is way bigger than the old one? Well, we'll talk about it now. Throughout the history, humans always wondered about the origin of the universe. Although the early civilizations who studied the universe didn't bring any answers due to the lack of equipment and fit environment. Regardless of that, it was beautiful to observe how human vision to the universe changes and evolves through time. One of these important questions was how old is the universe? It might used to be the most important question about the universe because the age of the universe equals the age of everything. In the 20th century, after ages of research, humans reached this conclusion that the universe is 13.8 billion years old. How did you get this number? Well, the scientists used two methods. The first method, galaxies distance. In this method, scientists use almost simple formulas to calculate the distance between galaxies. What does the distance between galaxies has to do with the age of the universe? Well, we know that the galaxies are moving away from each other due to the expansion of the universe. So that means they were close someday which the universe was smaller until we reached the beginning point which is the Big Bang. Scientists simply divided the distance between the furthest and the nearby galaxies on the velocity they moved within the space. Which, using this formula, we receive the time, which is the age of the universe. The second method is a challenging one, but it was used as an insurance for the first one. In the second method, the scientists calculate the age of the stars and the universe. Scientists knew that if the age of the star is x, the age of the universe is basically more than x. Which, by finding the oldest star, we reached this conclusion that the universe is older than this star. Believe it or not, but by using the both methods, scientists got the same number, which is 13.8 billion years old. Now you know how to discover the age of the universe. Although this number is useless right now, but at least you know it. Why didn't this number last for a long time? Well. A couple of months ago, a physics professor from the University of Ottawa, the capital of Canada, yes, the capital is Ottawa and not Toronto, this professor is called Rajendra Gupta. Through his studies, Gupta looked at the deep space observations made by the James Webb Telescope, concluded that the universe is actually 26.7 billion years old. In his article, he said, our newly devised model stretches the galaxy formation time by several billion years, making the universe 26.7 billion years old. His studies actually shed new light on the so-called impossible early galaxy problem. This problem refers that some galaxies thought to have come into existence long after the Big Bang appeared to be, in fact, much older than the universe estimated age. In February, for instance, researchers looking at the first data set released by the James Webb Telescope found ancient galaxies that appeared to contain hundreds of billions of stars, making them far larger than what was previously thought, and they were formed so soon after the Big Bang. Galaxies and stars like the Methuselah galaxy appear to have a level of maturity and mass which they are typically formed after billions of years of cosmic evolution indicating that they may have been around for more than 13.8 billion years old. 
In his studies, Professor Gupta found that by allowing this theory to coexist with the expanding universe, it becomes possible to reinterpret the redshift as a hybrid phenomenon rather than a pure phenomenon due to the expansion. He also advocated a revision of the traditional interpretation of the cosmological constant, which represents the dark energy as the responsible of the expansion of the universe. So, I guess after this discovery, scientists should change the evolution model of the universe and even change the periods of the universe. We have discovered this number thanks to James Webb Telescope. Does this mean that this number will change every time we send a bigger telescope? And by the way, if there's a supermassive black hole in the center of every galaxy, which one came first? The stars and black holes or the galaxy? Well, we're gonna leave these topics for another day. Until that day, do not stop wondering and be curious.